Hi, my Leos. Happy Saturday morning. I hope I was well with you guys. I hope you have a beautiful, positive morning. Staying protected, blessed, prayed up, and keep your guards all the way up. Okay, Leos? Leos, I wasn't planning on doing a video for you guys. I was just tampering with my cards. So I said, well, I'm going to just, let me see what's going on in Leo's life. What's going on with the Leos? What do the Leos needs to know? Okay. And so I came along with something that I feel that is very important for you to know if you don't know already. Okay. If you don't know what's going on. All right. So I had shelf for the cards already. These are the cards that I got right here. I got the moon, six of cups, the high priest, the magician, strength, the devil, the hermit, the six of pentacles, the four of cups, the king of swords, and seven of cups, and the five of swords. And the bottom card I have is the two of swords there. So you're dealing with a Libra, an air sign. Okay, so... Uh, I don't know if this Libra trying to make a decision about you or this is you need to make a decision about a Libra or yourself or your happiness or uh, I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra that at your job that work at a where you work at the same place Leo also I got Leo five of ones also behind the bottom of the car. Okay, we got five of ones and we got two of ones. So, Leo, you must be dealing with someone at your workplace. You having a relationship with a Libra uh, at your workplace, an air sign Libra. And to begin to have, you know, problems at the workplace, fights and arguments between you guys. Or this is lies being told on you by a Libra at the workplace or a family member, friend or who whatsoever. Or this is you, Leo. This is you, Leo, keeping up bullshit in the workplace, starting fights and arguments towards people, turning people against each other. Uh, someone's getting caught lying, uh, uh, just lying and, and starting shit like a troublemaker or something like that. So this is something that you going through with a Libra in the workplace or this is what a Libra doing to you, but I see five of ones. This is you, uh, Leo. So you probably having family problems, fights and arguments in the family, the workplace, your job, lies being said, told. The truth is coming out by what you did or said or whatsoever, okay? I'm just telling the cars, okay? All right. Okay, all right. Okay, we got the moon card, okay? You're dealing with a Pisces, or this is you. You can have Pisces in your chart, a Leo. But lies, deception, gossip, rumors being spread, delusional, just a bunch of bullshit being said. I don't know if you're saying this, Leo, or someone's around you doing this, or in a family member, workplace, or whatsoever. We got the Six of Cups. Scorpio. So it's lies being said about a child or a family member or a friend or someone. Someone spreading lies about something, about a child. Someone did something to a child or uh, this might not be your child or are you hiding a child from someone, a Leo? You don't want no one to know that you have a child by another uh, person, by another woman or a man or whatsoever. Okay. Or this can be you, Leo. You have some childhood memories. You can be thinking about your childhood when you was growing up, what your family, how you was raised by your parents, or you didn't have parents in your life, and you're still struggling. You're still going through some childhood traumatized as well, Leo. Whatever happened to you as a child or someone did something to a child, okay, don't get me wrong, I'm just reading the cards, okay? So this is what I'm picking up. Someone did something to a child at, when they was little. This could have been you as a child. Someone probably done some, you know, horrible things to you as a child. Abuse, child molestation, whatsoever. It could have went on in the family or a family friend or who whatsoever. And you're still struggling to get over it. It still bothers you. Or, like I said, something going on with a child. Lies and secrets been told. It's coming out about you did something or 
this is what's going on with you or this is what happened to you or this is what's happening to a child, someone's child or you. Okay, Leo. All right, the high priestess. So this is a okay, high priest. You got a Pisces. Or this can be you, Leo, like I say, in your chart. Someone's need to listen to their intuition, you know, listen to spirits. What, whatever you're thinking or whatever someone knows, it's going to come out. Lies and secrets, good and bad, okay? Things are being revealed. So, like I said, whatever is going on with someone's child or family member, uh, someone's very intuitive. Spirits that use your intuition or something. Uh, someone's using their intuition about you, okay, uh, Leo? But lies and secrets coming out, something about, a, you know, been gospel lies someone's being wrongfully accused or someone's being accused of something okay we got the magician also okay gemini because like i said the high priest someone with psychic abilities someone knows what's going on in this family with this child or with this relationship or with someone about the way they act or i don't know the way they just treat people the way they I don't know, it's just something strange about people looking at you, Leo, or it's just something that's not right, or you looking at someone this way. Magician, the moon, we got this, the Gemini and Virgo. So, um, I don't know if you're telling lies, spreading lies in rooms about a Gemini. Okay, Leo? Okay. I don't know if you're doing black magic or witchcraft on a Leo. Someone's doing magic. On a Gemini, I mean, yeah, a Gemini or a Virgo. You dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini? One of you guys, Leo, either this is you doing magic on a, a Gemini, okay? Trying to uh, doing love spells, magic spells, sex spells, sex magic. Trying to make someone uh, fall back in love to, with you, Leo. This is you doing spell work on a Gemini or a, a, a Virgo, Leo. Okay, or it's, I, I'm just telling you how the cards I read. So secrets going to be, yes, this is what this high priestess is. Secrets coming out. Someone very intuitive. Someone knows what you're doing, Leo. Okay, you're doing magic on someone. You're doing spell work on someone. Okay, juju. <laughs> oh, shit. So, Leo, this is you stressing out, you worrying that someone might find out about what you've been doing behind your back. You, you worry about this Gemini is going to find out, this Gemini Virgo is going to find out about what you've been saying about them, uh, spreading rumors and lies, doing magic, black magic, ritual spells, juju on them, okay, uh, trying to come between their money, their love life, trying to stop them from moving on, okay. So Leo, you are worrying, you stressing, you you having anxiety, you scared that this news, whatever you said and done or been doing behind this Gemini or Virgo back, okay, you nervous about it, you scared that that this person's gonna find out about it, okay, that you been doing juju on your boo boo. That's what uh, the other tarot reader was it, Chrysalis? I like her. Uh, she be saying, you've been doing juju on your boo-boo. <laughs> okay. But, um, yeah, you worry, you stress, you have anxiety. You hiding something. You keeping secrets from this Gemini or Virgo. So you keeping secrets. You're not sure. Something that you hide. You've been doing bad shit. You've been doing wrong shit. Or someone's been doing this to you, Leo. Okay. I'm just keeping it real. I'm just telling you how the cause is. Okay. But someone's worrying, stressing, keeping secrets. You obsessing over this Gemini. You still love this Gemini. You trying to pretend like you not bothered by this Gemini, by this ex. You trying to pretend like you happy, Leo, but you really not. Okay, you behind scenes watching this Gemini or Virgo. Okay, you like I said, you love them. You keep your feelings to yourself. If you, I mean, if you love someone, tell me you love them. If you done wrong, if you lied on someone, mistreated someone, admit to it, apologize. You know, if you want to be with this person or who whatsoever. You got to show them better than you can tell them. You know what I'm saying? You, but you're stressing over this person behind scene. This person knows. She's, this Gemini is very intuitive, okay? This Gemini is very psychic. Gemini and Virgo, okay? So you can't 
Hey, but you're stressing over this Gemini or Virgo, Leo. But you're being spiteful. You're being negative. You, you're being like a frenemy, enemy, you, you know, the devil. I don't know if you're dealing with a Capricorn. This is you got Capricorn in your chart. Jealousy, envy, mm -hmm, deception, lies, very toxic relationship. I don't know who you're dealing with, Leo. You're dealing with a Capricorn or Virgo or Sagittarius, a Virgo. Or it might be a Sagittarius since I said Sagittarius. Okay? So someone's very toxic as hell, very uh, deceptive, lies, just a, a compulsive liar. Uh, been doing bad things behind the other person back and shit. Just not being honest, trying to control them. Uh, just, just very deceptive. This a hate love relationship. No, no pleasure. No love. No romance. No romance. A friend of the enemies. Whoever these people is, you around of or around you. You trying to turn people against someone. It's just an evil cannabis relation. It's very toxic. It's wicked. Okay. Someone's doing magic behind the scene. You're dealing with a Virgo. Okay, it's a Virgo watching you, Leo, or this you watching a Capricorn, but someone's watching someone. Okay, and they're doing, they, they just watching you, doing some shit behind closed doors, looking at you, watching. So this can be you, Leo, with Virgo in your chart. You just be you watching someone behind the scene, watching ter other tarot card readers. Or getting a reading on someone, uh, Leo, you getting a reading on Virgo, or Virgo doing a reading on you, Leo, trying to find out something about you, what you up to, okay, or this could be someone private investigator investigating you, watching you, someone's watching you behind the scene, or this could be you, Leo, watching a Capricorn, or, or Virgo, or whoever watching who, whatsoever. but someone's in a toxic-ass relationship, very deceptive, lies, using control spells, trying to control someone, uh, just a, just evil, just a narcissistic person, or you're around some narcissistic people, or you just a narcissist person. Just, I don't know. I'm just keeping it real. Okay? <laughs> Shit. I don't know. I'm just keeping it real. Quick. Okay. So, also, we got Six of Pentacles. So, um, Taurus. Yeah, so Taurus, so this is you. Uh, is a Virgo watching your money, Leo? Is a Virgo watching your money, or this is you watching someone else's money? You, I don't know. Someone's doing some shit behind the scenes, trying to stop someone's money, trying to stop someone from getting some money. Okay, this is you, Leo, begging for help, need help or something, or you helping the Taurus, you giving someone money. Okay, or someone waiting on money, someone waiting on a letter, decision about money, some type of legal situation. Or, some lawsuit, inheritance, a child support payment, or a stimulus payment, some type of self-employment, unemployment payment. Money is being given out. So money is being owed to someone. So this is you giving money or someone's giving you money. Yeah. Okay. We got the four cups, Leo. Okay. And we got the King of Swords. So, Leah, you going through some disappointed, you know, with a uh, cancer or a cancer is disappointed in you, Leo, or this is you disappointed because something didn't go in your favor. You didn't get something. You thought something was going to go to you or it can be a relationship. You thought maybe relationship was going to work out right or whatsoever, but it didn't. You feeling disappointed about it or a job or something that... You thought maybe that you was going to get some type of job position or something. But spirits are always not lost. You still have a, a cup. You still have, you know, someone still want to offer you something, but you reject it. You refuse to take it. Okay. You feeling cold, and abrasive and demanding respect. So this could be somebody at your job or someone else took your job position. Okay. Or. Oh, but this be a boss that knows someone and gave them your position that you wanted and you feel disappointed, feel betrayed, backstabbed. Or oh, this is you, uh, you know, right, yeah. So this is you, you know, or someone, like I said, someone turning you down, Leo, and, you know, you feel disappointed because this person cut you off as Aquarius. I don't know if you're dealing with Aquarius or air sign. 
Yeah, this cold hearted Aquarius don't want your ass or you feel disappointed about this person turning you down in a relationship. Okay. Someone's stalking someone. Leo, who you stalking? Or is a Scorpio stalking you? <laughs> Someone's watching, so was someone's watching, so was just looking. This could be an ex, or this is you, Leo. You watching a Scorpio, or a Scorpio watching you, or you watching somebody. Someone trying to figure you out. You just watching someone. Oh, Leo, is you plotting on someone? Leo, who you plotting on? Got the five of swords. You plotting on an Aquarius, an air sign. It could be a Gemini, or whatever. But that's an Aquarius sign. That that five of swords. So Leo, you watching someone stalking someone? I don't know. You 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 like you won't you losing all. It's like someone's looking at you, Leo. <laughs> someone's looking at you. It's like people turn against you, Leo. This is you. People figuring you out. People looking at you strange, Leo. Or this is you looking at someone plotting against someone you plotting against uh, or okay this is a cat scorpio looking strange at you leo or this is you looking at a scorpio oh it's an aquarius or oh, this could be you because leo and aquarius is the opposite of sign so this should be you uh looking at a, a aquarius or aquarius looking at you but but this is you leo you watching someone you looking at them and it's like you're trying to figure them out. You're stalking them. I don't know if you're trying to hurt someone. You're trying to set someone up. You're trying to turn people against this person. Okay? You, it's like you, you, you're trying to, you watching, you, like, you're not being who you say you are. You're like a frenemy towards someone. You, you trying to set them up. You're trying to turn people against someone. This is crazy. Or this is someone trying to do you like that. Watching you, plotting on you, trying to set you up, trying to turn off against you. Or this is you being phony or phony friends. You around frenemies, enemies, Leo. Or this is you mad because someone walking away from you, Leo. And you watching this person. You... you <laughs> Let me see some. This is weird. So we got clap out the five of swords for the Leo, please. Clap out the five of swords for the Leo. I don't know, this is kind of weird. You watching someone in a bad way, or evil way. You want to set this person up. You, Someone's watching you. Someone knows what's going on, what's happening. Someone sees something that you're doing, or you see something that someone's doing. You know someone's trying to set someone up. Someone knows you're trying to set someone up. Someone knows something about you, Leo. Someone's plotting and stalking. This would be a pedophile, a rapist. I don't know what the hell this is. But someone's watching, stalking someone, carrying uh, all types of STDs. Um, someone thinks ill about someone. Someone has no one. Someone, you don't have it. Leo, you think ill about someone. You don't like someone. You have bad intention for someone, Leo. So you plotting on them behind their back, doing some shit, talking about them, gossip, turning people. It's just, just doing some dumb shit. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, clarify the five of swords. Okay, let's see. Clarify the five of swords for real, please. Clarify the five of swords for real, please. Clarify the five of swords for real, please. Let's have the five of swords for Leo, please. Let me see. Clap out the five of swords for Leo, please. Clap out the five of swords for Leo, please, girl. Clap out the five of swords for Leo, please. Clap out the five of swords. Okay, I'm going to start right there, but I'm going to read these cards down. So, Leo, you stressing. Someone's spreading lies and rumors of gospel lies, or this is you, Leo, doing this to someone, and you stressing like a motherfucker. Okay, you got a, a Pisces that's doing this to you, or this is you got Pisces in your chart, and you're stressing like a motherfucker because you worry about this person going to find out what you've been doing behind their back, what you've been saying, 
things you keep into yourself. It can be secrets, same-sex relationship, you scared to come out of the closet, or this is you having anxiety, you obsessing over a person, you watching and you stalking them, okay? You can't let them go. You're dealing with a cancer or you have cancer in your chart. So this is you feeling rejected because you've been rejected. Someone uh, from a job or a relationship or love, uh, some type of job position you thought you was going to get, it didn't go in your favor and you feel disappointed about it. You feel betrayed or someone's feel betrayed about you. So this is you having, like I said, childhood memories, traumatized by something someone said you did this, did that to a child. Or this is you, something happened to you as a child. Or you need to talk to your child or it's a family member, friends or someone around you. Very devil. We got the jealousy, trouble, very toxic, narcissistic person. I don't know. Just very narcissistic. Capricorn, you're dealing with a Capricorn. Okay. Scorpio. A child Scorpio or whoever. But someone's, like I said, an abusive, toxic ass relationship. And someone's demanding respect from you, Leo. You know, put some respect on their name or whatsoever. We got the high priest. Someone's very intuitive. Okay, this can be a Pisces or you, Leo. But someone's very intuitive. Someone knows you've been spreading lies, rumors, gaslighting them, or about them saying shit about them behind closed doors. This is you watching someone, Leo, behind closed doors. Just, I don't know if you're going to a tarot card read to get readings on them. You're dealing with a Virgo, or this is a Virgo doing this to you, doing readings on you, a private investor trying to investigate you, trying to see what you own, what kind of person you is. I don't know. Someone sees you. I don't know. This is you watching a Scorpio, Scorpio watching you. But someone's watching you, trying to figure you out, trying to see what you own. What, I don't know. Seems like some pedophile shit going on. I don't know. Some child molestation shit. Something's not right in somebody's family and their lifestyle or something. So, uh, Leo, you doing magic, black magic, witchcraft, juju on somebody, or somebody's doing this to you. You're doing this to Gemini or Virgo. Okay? Magic spells, love spells, money spells. Uh, you try, just trying to control someone. It's trying to stop someone's money, Leo. So you trying to stop someone from getting money. You trying to stop someone from receiving their blessings. Okay? You trying to, yeah. A Taurus. Or this is you, Leo. You trying to stop. You trying to come between someone's money. Doing money spell work on someone. Trying to stop someone's money. Doing magic. Set up bad with swords. Yeah, you plotting, setting up someone. Okay, this is Aquarius doing this to you, but this is you, the opposite of Aquarius. So you plotting, it could be a Gemini, like I said, yeah. Yeah, it is. So you trying to turn people against this Gemini, uh, Leo, or this Virgo. Yeah, you trying to turn people against this Gemini. But this is y'all reading, uh, Leo. I hope all is well with you guys. Stay blessed, stay prayed up. You guys, motherfucker, look. All right, this is your reading. If it resonates, it's resonating. It's not for every Leo, Okay. And for the cross watchers that's watching, smooches.